Hi, we were seeing Weirdo. We were the Aaron from uh, the fire ship that just got done playing the show in Lincoln Hall. It was their season release show. What did you think of that? I thought it was awesome. Uh, the atmosphere was really good. And, uh, you know, it was just a special night for us. We've been trying to get the CD done for six months now, so just to finally have it out and have the chance for people to have it was really special. And especially to play at Lincoln Hall, which is a brand new venue that we've never had the opportunity to play it yet. It was, it was really awesome. Ben, your uh, bass player, is a you know a good, you know, very good engineer producer. Yes. Is he the one that you know? Did he do a lot of the work on your album as well? Yeah, he uh, Ben recorded our entire EP. Um, you know, we produced it ourselves and uh, worked on the songs for a good, I think, uh, three or four months. We actually worked on all of the songs. Uh, before we started tracking everything. So, uh, yeah, it was, it was, you know, we're an unsigned band, so we pretty much were looking to do everything ourselves, especially being that band has been recording for, you know, a number of years now and has, has been recording, you know, professionally out of, like, a recording school uh, for 10 years now. We, we definitely knew that we, we could get a quality EP recorded with him without having to really, you know, go to a producer. And it was kind of one of those things where um, we felt that, you know, once we release this EP, hopefully somebody would want to, like, put it out where we could actually have uh, a producer that records a, f a full length or another EP on a label with us. So. Well, we obviously know that, uh, you know, you've had success in uh, other bands in the you know greater Chicago area as well and you've even worked professionally as outside of being a performer in the music business as well. What would you say makes uh, the fire ship you know, stand out from the other projects you've done and things that makes you know like first and foremost I think we're we're one of the only bands in Chicago that has the sound that we have. Like, honestly I look around Chicago music which is a ton of bands and there's a ton of really good bands. But I don't really, we found it kind of hard. It's kind of nice because we're, we're able to do shows with popular pop rock bands. We are received well. And then we're able to do shows with uh, kind of more like indie bands that are more in the, the pitchfork. I mean, to, to <laughs> kind, of, kind of give it that. Uh, like, Kind of the pitchfork bands, we, we still find that we're received well. So it's kind of like we're the, the in between sound where we're poppy, yet we're still kind of experimental. So I don't know, it's just there's not like anything in Chicago I think like it really sounds like that. So it kind of makes us unique. We're in between sets right now at Lincoln Hall. Uh, there's a late show and an early show. They just got done with the early show, but we Los, always lost Radamus. Lost Radamus. You gotta love him. You gotta love him. Especially, I I even do hear that Kid Sister might be making an appearance tonight. So you gotta stick around for that. Gotta check it out. I hope so. Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> uh, so but uh, we we gotta ask you as well, since we primarily are on music blog. Who do you love to see live, and why do you like seeing them? Whether they're local, national, you know. I know it, you, you picked out Imogen Heap way ahead of the curve, ahead of a lot of people, and you know, who do you love to see? Yeah, I mean, I just, there, there's bands that I have been into for a while. I mean, obviously, our band is very influenced on bands like Muse, and Mute Math, and even like Foo Fighters, or like, I think newer, newer 30 Seconds to Mars, um, but I mean, I don't think we really pigeonhole ourselves like so much in genres like I said I, I, I got into Image and Heat before like, like when her first album came out her first show at Shuba's was, was one of the coolest shows ever because it was such a small atmosphere and to see something like that and, but I mean we, we grew up on bands like Alkaline Trio and Smoking Popes and we saw one of, some of those bands like first shows so obviously those are also bands and you know, styles that definitely like somewhat show and were influenced by for sure. Well, thank you for the time, Eric. We really love the show. Good set. Thank you so much. Good to see you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. We have life.